The Arturia Keylab Mark II gives you easy access to your DAW and Arturia's analog lab. But does it really improve your workflow? Let's find out. All right, here's a quick tour of all the features. From left to right, you've got some chord functions and the 16 pads. Below that, you have transpose, octave shift buttons, and pitch and modulation wheels. Moving right, you have your DAW controls. I put on the Ableton overlay for Ableton functions. The Keylab does come with other magnetic overlays for other DAWs. For Ableton, you have solo, mute, record, arm, re-enable, view, punch in, punch out, metronome, and undo. Yes, undo, thank you. Below that, you've got your transport buttons, you know, the play, stop, record. Right in the middle, you've got a nice jog wheel for selecting things on the screen, the screen lets you select modes, change settings, etc. At the bottom, you've got three buttons to quickly switch from the primary three modes, Analog Lab, DAW, and User. Next are a few buttons that in Analog Lab mode let you layer sounds or split them on the keyboard. Last, you've got nine knobs and faders which allow you to control Analog Lab parameters or DAW tracks. Below the faders, you have selector buttons. I'll get to those later. On the back, you've got CV outs for pitch, gate, mod one and two, MIDI in and out, three auxiliary ins, expression and sustain pedal ports, CV in, and USB. You also have the option for a power cable. This feels like a premium keyboard. You get a nice metal construction which feels high quality for a controller keyboard. Let's talk about the key bed. The sensitivity of the keys feels good. There are of course much nicer key beds on much pricier keyboards. I've been playing this for a few weeks now and using the default velocity curve setting, I don't feel like there's enough volume difference between playing soft and hard. I was able to fix this by adjusting the velocity curve and saving it to a user template. The pads feel pretty good. I played some drum kits with them and was very happy. Let's talk about the DAW mode. This is something I really love. You have immediate DAW control. I'll show you the Ableton mode, but it also has presets for other DAWs like Reaper, Studio One, Cubase, Pro Tools, Logic, and also a standard preset. To use the DAW mode, you just press the DAW button. Live integration is great for live looping. You hit a pad to record into a clip or trigger it. The metronome button is really handy and well-placed. You can use the knobs and faders on the right to control each track. The knobs control pan, and the faders, of course, control volume. You can also select which track you're working on by using the selector buttons at the bottom. I've got track one selected here. Now I'm selecting track three, and I can play the drums. So this is a nice laundry list of functions, but how does all this really help your music creation workflow? I'll get to that in a second. First, I wanna show you the Analog Lab integration. One of the main selling points of the Keylab Mark II is the tight integration with Analog Lab Arturia software. Analog Lab is a plugin that gives you access to Arturia's 21 instruments, which include vintage synths and pianos. You get 6,500 presets from the V collection and they sound great. If you own the full V collection or one of the synths in it, you'll be able to access the full controls of the synths and tweak them to your heart's desire. Load up Analog Lab and you can browse, search, and filter presets so easily. Once you load a preset that you like, you load it, and now you have control of that synth using the faders and knobs. This in itself speeds up workflow. So I've got a preset loaded here. Now let's do uh You even got dedicated buttons to quickly find sounds. When you're in analog lab mode, the buttons below the faders let you filter the presets from analog lab quickly. So if I press one, I see just the piano presets and the second electric piano 
organ, pad, bass, and so on. This helps when you're creating a new track to quickly find your next sound from Analog Lab. Let's talk about the user mode. The user mode is where I started to get really excited. You can use the user mode to customize what every knob and button does. You can create up to 10 user templates, each with its own settings. For example, you can create a user mode that assigns knob 1 to send MIDI 74, or a button to send another MIDI message. It's really powerful. I've got lots of virtual instruments and I'd love to create custom templates for all of them so I can control settings using these knobs and faders. The Key Lab comes with Arturia's MIDI Control Center, which is software that really helps you customize your user templates. I was very successful with the plugin Nexus 2. I've mapped several controls on Nexus to the knobs and faders. You'll see that I'm controlling cutoff with the first knob and resonance with the second. I can also adjust reverb with the fader. I've also assigned the preset previous and next buttons to these buttons on the keyboard. This way I can cycle through the presets in Nexus really fast. This makes finding sounds in Nexus really easy. But when I tried to do this with other virtual instruments like Serum, Massive, and some others, I couldn't. I believe this is because other virtual instruments don't have default MIDI maps. If they did, I could have created multiple user templates for each virtual instrument, which would have been awesome. The only option left is to use the MIDI learn function on virtual instruments, but your MIDI mappings save for that song only. Now, virtual instrument mappings aside, let's talk about the workflow because this is where the Key Lab really shines. I've loaded Analog Lab on a track in Ableton, and now I'm gonna click the dedicated Analog Lab button on the keyboard, then select Electric Piano. Now you see all the electric piano presets. Let's pick one. You can also layer sounds in Analog Lab. Let's add a pad to the same keyboard sound we used before. Just click Part 2 button, then Pad, and select a pad sound. And I can adjust the volumes for the individual parts here. I'm gonna get rid of that pad for now just so I can show you the workflow. When you're ready to record, switch to DAW mode and press the corresponding pad and we're ready to record into an empty clip slot on that track. Now let's create another track with Analog Lab and find a bass sound. I switch back to DAW mode and I can adjust the volume. Click an empty slot on that track and we're ready to record. Now let's switch over to our drum track. I can also use these buttons to move tracks. And let's record a little beat. Boom. All right, let's load up Nexus next and add a little something from Nexus. And it's recorded the automation. Workflow is great on here. All the functions are contained in one device. I'm not moving away from the keyboard. It's all right here. The only time I'm looking at the computer screen is when I create a new track or I'm exploring presets. An additional function that you won't find on other keyboards is the Keylab's ability to connect to modular synths with its CV connectors in the back. Again, this is fully customizable in the user modes. So, how much does the Keylab cost? The Keylab Mark II 49 key keyboard is $450. The 61 key version is $500. The value of this keyboard really comes from three things. First, the Analog Lab sounds and integration. The sounds are top notch and finding and controlling them is wonderful. Second is the way it helps your workflow. The DAW controls are really intuitive. Lastly, it's the high customizability. So this sounds like all good stuff, but was anything missing? The only glaringly missing feature is its ability to control 
Ableton devices. This includes Ableton instruments like Operator or Wavetable and Ableton Effects. Artoria's Minilab Mark II does this with no setup needed at all. You just plug it in, set it to Ableton mode, and you're off. Now what you get with the Key Lab versus the Minilab is much more comprehensive DAW control. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Keep making the music that you love, and I will see you guys later.